one thing I love doing in this car is rev matching downshifts. It just sounds so good. What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video. And today I just have a short drive to do. I need to go get an alignment and my wheels rebalanced on Dawn. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'm going to get my wheels aligned and balanced because uh, I need to do that after I just lower my car as you saw in my last video. But on the way there, I'm just going to be doing a Q&A for y'all. And yeah, just some POV driving. It's pretty much a straight shot there. It's a probably about like a 25 minute drive from my house. So uh, I figured why not just do a Q&A on the way there. I asked y'all on my previous YouTube videos and my Instagram to go ahead and let me know any questions y'all might have for a Q&A video. And I got quite a few questions. I'm only gonna do uh, a few of them. And yeah, just give y'all some insight on what's up for the channel and just some answers to the questions that y'all have. But if you aren't following me on Instagram, you might wanna do so. It should be on the screen right now. BK2.Don is my car channel. If you wanted to follow my personal channel, which I don't really post on, but it's stupid slow, two O's, two I's, and underscore in the middle. But I don't really post on that like I just said. And uh, y'all might like the car channel better because I do post my YouTube stuff and try to keep you guys updated on the things I do with my car. Especially stuff that I don't post on my channel. But first questions first, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have asked yourself this question, but just haven't asked me. PJ, why haven't you put any mesh or anything under the hood scoops or hood vents that you, you know, cut holes into? And honestly, it's literally because I don't want to. I kind of like the look of just having nothing there more than having some mesh, even though some mesh looks do look clean, but I don't know I just figured why not just have it open and I know you're probably thinking that things can fall in it or crawl in it and I know that I just I'm conscious of the things that could do that and so every now and then before I start my car up I'll pop the hood check and see if anything is under it like any leaves or anything dislodge that stuff and I'm okay as you can see I had it all this time with it like that so it's not too bad On to the second question. Um, why did I get rid of my Cobra for a Genesis if I'm still gonna do power mods to it? Uh, that's actually a good question. And it's because, like I said, the Genesis is a bit newer than the Cobra. It's more comfortable to drive. And I mean, it's still a real wheel drive sports coupe. So you still get that kind of kick out of it. And the only thing I say is a downfall is like, it's a Hyundai. And I know a lot of people look down on Hyundai, but I don't even see that as it being like a true downfall just because i don't know i like the car when i first saw it i fell in love with it and i always knew that i wanted to have one of these cars for the long run it just so happened that my last genesis wasn't automatic and it wasn't necessarily in my name like how my parents told me that it would have been i just let them do everything and i was just paying for it all but I ended up figuring out after a couple years of paying for it that it wasn't in my name, so I just wanted to get rid of it. And that's why I got the Cobra in the first place. Because I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and actually see what that type of power felt like. But as for the power mods, like these cars can be pretty quick in a for a in a six cylinder, of course. And uh they're pretty slept on. And I I kind of like that feeling of an underdog. I'm always gonna mod a car for power, even though even if it's not 500, 600 horsepower and 500, 600 torque or anything like that. They can still be fun either way. Next quick, oh, let me get over. Eee! I just washed my car and it's slinging up all kind of dirt and stuff. Do I ever plan on in the near future lowering my car and would I get springs, coilovers, or bags? Well, as y'all see my last video, I did decide to go on with the springs and the springs I got were JDM Sport Springs. They were lowering springs. I believe they lowered the front 1.6 or 7 inches and the back 1.4 inches, I believe. Which is, that's not a drastic uh, drop, but it does drop it considerably enough to where like my car doesn't look like a semi. And I'm pretty proud of it. And the reason I went with those over like Megan Racing or 
BC coilovers or something like that is because for the price, I mean, you just couldn't beat it. And like I said, the R-Spec springs and shocks, they, I believe, are a little bit stiffer than the base model or Grand Touring models. And so, why is it raining? And so, that stiff spring rate for that, it shouldn't, it should, it should be able to compensate with it being so stiff already to where it's not like the shock isn't trying to float while the spring is trying to hurry up and spring back into place. I don't know if I'm explaining that good enough, but hopefully y'all understand. But yeah, that's pretty much why I went with the ones I went with. And like on my last Genesis, I went with some eBay springs, which I wouldn't say are the worst quality, but definitely weren't the best. And they held up quite nicely for about a year and a half before I swap back to the stock stuff and sold the car but that's pretty much the backstory on why i went with the springs i do plan on upgrading to coilovers one day and then possibly upgrading the bags after that after i you know i'm more established in life and stuff but only time will tell i hate i have this terrible little tiny wind noise coming from my window it sounds like somewhere in this area and i can't seem to find why it's doing that I may just replace all the rubber around the door and uh, help help it seal better if that's what it is. If not, then I'm not really sure what I would do. I've heard of people having to replace their whole doors and I'm not looking forward to having to do that. So hopefully one day it'll just fix itself or I can fix this by changing out the rubber. On to the next, I do like the color of these Civics, but on to the next question. Why did I get the manifold spacer instead of the manifold riser? um like i told y'all some time ago i do plan on building this car in different stages the first stage i just want to get you know so a few go fast parts a few parts to make the car run better and just you know tighten things up and make it look a little bit better for stage one before i go on to you know add bigger power or making the car look a lot better than stock and all that stuff so uh this is all i'm gonna have for stage one it's basically gonna be you know your basic full exhaust intake uh spacers pulleys short shifter that type of stuff and uh just basic cosmetic mods and that'll be it for stage one the last question that i have for y'all well for this video is gonna be where is the merch i've gotten that a few times well quite a few times but i honestly still don't think that there's enough people that want merch from me um i'm gonna do a little slideshow of the merch that i've been thinking about you know making and dropping for y'all right now so uh tell me how you feel about these in the comment section below and i'll make the best decision in order to get it out or to not get it out but i just need a little bit more feedback on that because i mean to be honest i'm not trying to spend that much money if y'all aren't gonna be all in for it and uh I, I pretty much do this for y'all and like for myself i would want to see more merch for myself i mean i like branding myself and i like advertising advertising myself a little bit you know what i mean so uh just let me know in the comment section what y'all think about these designs and what y'all think about me having merch as a whole and i'll greatly appreciate that and try my hardest to get it out for y'all like i said i don't really have much to talk about so i just did a q a and and I feel like I answered quite a few of y'all's questions. If you have any more questions, just hit me up in the comment section once again. Let me know any questions. I'm, I'll be grateful to answer them because uh, I wouldn't want to be doing things that y'all think are right or wrong and not explain to y'all why I'm doing so. Or, you know, just tell y'all if I know what I'm doing or if I don't know what I'm doing. It lets me interact with y'all, knowing exactly what y'all are thinking, because I like that kind of stuff. I can't wait to get some better POV for y'all. That's one thing that I want to get my headers for. So then, you know, I can wind the windows down a little bit, let y'all actually hear some of this good exhaust. But as of now, I mean, listen at this. Y'all probably can't even hear that. <laughs> oh well, I mean, one day it'll be a lot better. And one day it'll be quicker than what it is. One day I'll be tuned, y'all can hear some backfiring and some shots from the exhaust and all that stuff. But as of now, I mean, I still sound kinda stockish. But I believe that's all I have for today's video. 
you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry I didn't get to do more POV spirited driving for y'all, but today it just wasn't that type of day. I have to go get an alignment because I just lowered my car. And so, I don't know. I feel like I need to take it easy for today, at least just today, and then save that for another day. Share this video with your friends and family or anybody that you know that subscribes to my channel or has questions for me, and tell them to don't be scared to comment down any questions or concerns that they have in the comment section, and I'll try to respond to them. I'll try to keep them in the loop of everything and just let them know what's going on with the channel and the car. But. This just about wraps up the video, so always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more, and I thank y'all for watching.